Hi everyone, welcome to this video about virtual reality, and it's back in a big way. 2016 is said to be the year when the likes of Oculus Rift, PlayStation VR, and the HTC Vive pre-take virtual reality mainstream. Virtual reality is an immersive experience in which your head movements are tracked in a three-dimensional world, making it ideally suited to games and even movies. While virtual reality was a non-starter back in the 90s, developers are now creating mind-blowing experiences that look set to revolutionize gaming and entertainment in a whole. But what are the best virtual reality headsets and which one should you choose? I've put together the definitive selection of the most gobsmacking awesome devices just waiting to be strapped onto your head. The HTC Vive. HTC unveiled the HTC Vive, a stream VR headset made in collaboration with Valve at MWC 2015, and it's due to hit the shops in April. The HTC Vive plugs into PCs and works with Valve's mammoth gaming ecosystem. It packs in 70 sensors plus offers 360 degree head tracking as well as a 90 hertz refresh rate. The stat that's key to keeping down latency. Elsewhere, there's an accompanying context aware controller, so you can shoot, move and interact with the elements in the virtual world. The retailing price of the HTC Vive is going to start out at $799, making it one of the most expensive out there on the market. Of course, Oculus Rift is the virtual reality headset that started the current hysteria. Developed by Palmer Lucky, funded via Kickstarter and snapped up by Facebook for a cool $2 billion. The Rift plugs into your computer's DVI and USB ports and tracks your head movements to provide 3D imagery on its stereo screens. It's available to order now with shipping expected in March 2016. The Oculus Touch controller has been delayed until later in the year, but you will get an Xbox One controller in every box. Now the Oculus Rift is going to start retailing at $599. Some exciting news, we have now a launch day for the PlayStation VR headset. It's to be released in October 2016. A new version was announced at GDC 2015, and gone is the 5-inch LCD display of the original prototype. In its place, a 5.7-inch OLED, one which enables low persistence, which should mean less motion blur. The display's refresh rate has also been ramped up to 120Hz, making 120fps gaming a real possibility. The reported latency issues of Morpheus Mark 1 have been addressed, with a new 18ms reading, and tracking accuracy has been tweaked with a total of 9 LEDs, now aiding the positional awareness of the headset. PlayStation fanboys expect this to retail at around $350. Samsung's entry into VR has delivered one of the best all-round and consumer-friendly headsets on the market. Albeit with a restrictive walled garden that we're at least becoming accustomed to. The Gear VR, now available officially to consumers, is an Oculus Rift powered device that uses Samsung Galaxy smartphone as its processor and display. The Galaxy handset simply slots in front of the lenses into the micro USB dock and uses Super AMO LED display as your screen. It's already added a host of games plus a whole marketplace of virtual reality video content called Milk VR. And if you want to try it out, just head to your Samsung stores, museum and even hotel rooms for a taster. Samsung's first virtual headset is an awesome peek into the future of VR for the rest of us and we're betting on Samsung to make good on its promise to get as many movies, games and virtual experiences onto the Galaxy VR as possible. Now the Samsung Galaxy VR is set to retail at around $80 to $90. The Microsoft HoloLens, the device that took everyone off guard. Microsoft HoloLens is half virtual and half augmented reality. The device merges real-world elements with virtual holographic images, meaning you can look at your Minecraft world on your kitchen table or walk around the surface of Mars in your living room. Using a kinetic style tech to recognize gestures and voice commands, the headset has a 120 degree field of vision on both axes, and it's capable of high definition visuals. What's more, there is no connection to a PC. A full Windows 10 system is built into the headset and runs off a battery. No, we can't wait to see how long that lasts either. 
The development edition will launch in 2016 with a price tag of a hefty $3,000. Also, not to be outdone, Google announced its cardboard virtual reality headset at I.O. 2014 and unveiled version 2 at the 2015 conference. Popping a smartphone into a cardboard container and then strapping it to your head may sound like a joke, but it actually works and it could become a low-cost way to experience virtual reality. After all, your smartphone contains all the necessary gyroscopic sensors and positioning systems to accurately track your head movements. Google Cardboard is a very affordable virtual reality headset. It starts off retailing at around $30 and there's a lot of good video content on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. For more trending videos, please subscribe to Topmost Trends and I hope to see you next time.